Good morning. I'm the nephew of Victor Bono, and for those who saw him playing in the role of King Tut in the Batman series and television in the early 1960s, he did have a small family, and he spent most of his life by standing on a theater stage or in front of a camera for television and many others on motion picture screens. And this is the family that he and I knew so well, and all of us were so very proud about his talents and kindness. This is my uncle Victor Charles Buono, and this is Victor with his mother Myrtle, she was my grandmother, born on October 19, 1909, named Myrtle Bell Keller. And this is Victor's grandmother, Myrtle Bell Glass, born on April 18, 1886, before she became a Keller. Myrtle Bell Glass was my great-grandmother. This is my father, Louis Michel Erica, at 11 years old playing with little half-brother Victor in their front yard. Myrtle Bell Keller was first married and soon divorced to my grandfather, Louis Rupert Erica, who died in the early days of World War II. And then Myrtle Bell Keller soon married Victor Francis Buono. Victor Francis Buono became my father's stepfather from that day on. His stepfather Buono saw my father, Louis Michel Erica, off to the Navy in World War II. Soon after Victor Charles was born came his little brother, David Francis Buono. The Buono family grew together through the 1940s and 1950s. During the 1950s, my parents, two sisters, Renee and Teresa, and I visited the Buono House at 3266 Bayside in Mission Beach. Victor Charles was filming those days, and we would all gather and watch his exciting films. When the early 1960s rolled around, I went to live with my Uncle Victor Charles Buono in Encino, California, around 1965. This is the den at Encino, where we spent a lot of our time. My mother Hilda and Father Lewis came up for a visit to the Encino house. This is my grandmother Myrtle and Victor Charles in the Encino kitchen. Victor Charles was nominated for Best Supporting Actor at the Academy Award Oscars for Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Before the 1960s were over, my father Louis and sister Renee and I went to see Victor Charles acting in Las Vegas. During the 1970s, David Francis Buono got married to Patty, and so did my sister Renee. This is a photo Victor Charles sent to us. Victor Charles left Encino for a house on the beach next door of actor Raymond Burr. And this is what he wrote to me on the back of this picture. Throughout Victor's life, Grandmother Myrtle lived with him. On occasion, Grandmother Myrtle would visit my father, Louis, at his home in South Mission Beach. Catholic father, John Ahern, who was very influential in Victor's Charles acting career visited him. Father Ahern helped to direct Victor Charles' acting career at his early age at the San Diego Junior Theater. Then in the late 1950s, Victor Charles found fame at the Old Globe Theater. Soon, he met his closest woman friend, costume designer Peggy Kilner. 
Had it not been for his grandmother, Myrtle Bell Glass, Victor Charles Bono may not have become a professional actor. The one and only person still alive who knew Victor Charles Bono the most is his little brother, my precious Uncle David Francis Bono. My Uncle Victor was always kind to me and never had a harsh word. He was large as a mountain, quiet as a meadow, and quick as a lightning bolt, but will be remembered most is when he gently painted Easter eggs and spoke softly to me.